Welcome to the real world. Hello. Hi. Welcome to the real world? Well, as real as it gets in Southern California. <laughs> this is Connie Howard, our dialectician, mm -hmm. and Randy Talai, our phonics specialist. And this is Jean Zerna, voice and speech specialist, and the director of A-Team, Accent Modification Specialist Team in Los Angeles, California. And this is as real as it gets. Real American English, the way Americans really speak it. Only better. Yes, only better. The way better spoken Americans speak, clearly articulated, fully expressed, and without an accent. You're going to learn to feel your speech, to experience sound as a vibration, and to develop a sense memory of these American sounds. Only better still. Only better still. At the same time that you're learning to feel these American sounds perfectly, you'll be discovering vocal energy. The speech principles that you learn here will become your foundation for feeling sounds. They're the same techniques used by professional speakers, news broadcasters, and actors. Like them, you will be able to develop your vocal instrument. Now, here's where we come to a most unique feature of this course. The Diagnostic Evaluation Kit. In it, you'll find a blank audio cassette tape. On that tape, you record your speech sample according to the directions provided there. Mail it back to us in the pre-addressed envelope. A qualified dialectician will analyze your speech and return it to you. Your personal diagnostic evaluation. It'll look something like this, and it'll chart the areas of this course you need to give special focus to. Now, does this look sufficiently incomprehensible? <laughs> oh, boy. Well, don't worry, because it's accompanied by my own personal directions to you on another audio cassette. I'll explain it all to you. I'll do this personally, or if I'm unavailable, another highly skilled specialist that I've selected will do it for me. Of course, you'll do fine even without a diagnosis, but this cassette exchange between us allows me to create a personal training program for you. It offers a more precisely individual approach. Now, why is it that speech coaches are always being so precise? <laughs> I don't know. We, I guess we just always want to get everything perfect. Which brings us to an even further refinement. The only way to make still more effective use of this course would be to arrange private coaching at our studios in Los Angeles or private seminars conducted at your own location. Well, at the very beginning of tape two, you'll find the information on how to contact us about that. All right, I'm almost finished with the explanations. <laughs> this course is mostly practice after all. But before we begin, let me give you the same frank advice I give all my clients. Two things. First, give yourself completely to the exercises. Remember, we're going to train you with the same techniques used by professional actors. As long as you master the basic techniques of each section, you'll be able to produce results as American sounding as in the practice scenes. Now, some of the later scenes are challenging but you need that. And if you ever feel that things are moving too fast, just grab what you can. You don't have to grasp all the content, all the practice, all at once, or in any order. And you will not perfect all your technique at once either. Which brings me to my second thing. You must practice and repeat and repeat and repeat. When you review the course, you can jump around anywhere. Speech is organic, so you can approach it in many ways. Now, you can work at your own pace, but keep working. We're gonna begin by doing some very simple relaxation and breathing exercises. And Connie's gonna be our guinea pig. So, getting down on the floor, flat on your back, arms at your sides. I want you to think of your body in logical muscle groups, all right? This exercise we'll call muscle spreading. So, like, here's a muscle group, from here to here, here to here, here to here, here to here is a group, here's a group, here's a group, here's a group, and here's a group. So within each group of muscles, think of those muscles as spreading out now. They're just spreading out. Let's check under here in the small of the back. And if there's a little space there, a little arch, 
then kind of press the small of your back against the floor real easily. You don't have to really think about holding it there, but think of what that small of your back feels like against the floor there, right? Because then your spine is in perfect alignment. And take nice, deep, easy breaths. Breathe in through the nose and through the mouth. I know your mother told you to breathe in through the nose, but we want to breathe in through the nose and the mouth. Get in more air that way. Nice, deep, easy breaths. All right. Muscle groups spreading out. You know how they say the universe is always expanding? Think of your body as the universe now. All right? And all the atoms are expanding. Nice, deep, easy breaths. And if we've got any tension anywhere, let it go. Send a little messenger around. Is there any tension anywhere? Let it go. No. Let's see. The spine is real straight, and the back of the neck is nice and long. Nice, deep, easy breaths. Muscles spreading out, the universe expanding. Okay, slowly in your own time, come up and stand. And let's get that kind, come over here. Let's get that same nice straight alignment. Remember the same kind of alignment we had on the floor. Think like there's a string coming out of the top of your head, right? Mm -hmm. That's going straight through your spine. Nice, deep, easy breaths. All right, now, let's take a couple steps back. Mm -hmm. And very slowly go down through the spine bending over. Let the arms fall ahead of you and let the neck fall loose too. Let the head fall over. That's it. Everything's nice and loose. Unlock the knees. Get a little more space between the, yeah, between your feet so you've got a good base. Now, just like when you were lying on the floor, when you're in this position, you cannot breathe incorrectly. Hmm? It's all taken care of. Nice, deep, easy breaths and coming up slowly through the spine. Very slowly, keep the head hanging over. Feel the sides expanding. Hmm? Feel the sides, the stomach walls expanding and the sides expanding, filling up with air. We call this filling up the bucket, filling it from the bottom to the top. Coming up, feeling this getting wider, the back getting wider, broad spaces between the shoulder, So filling up the whole back with air. And finally bringing the head up. Nice, deep, easy breaths. Feel all refreshed. Good. Four natural ways to relax. Yawning. Oh. Oh. I notice you take in a big breath when you do that. Oh. 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 Put sound with it, too. Oh. Oh. We see animals do these kind of things all the time. Stretching. Mm. <sighs> stretching the fingers out, too. Stretching over to one side, stretching over to the other side. Stretch the fingers out, too. Get those fingers stretching. And keep yawning, too. Do a little more yawning. Oh. Uh, yawning is really like a stretch. 
Shaking, that's another thing you see animals do. Shake one arm. You've seen animals do this, haven't right. you? Yeah. Dogs and cats do this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You sure the wrist is loose? You're shaking the other arm. Both of them. Shaking one leg. Right? Get that ankle loose, too, so the foot's shaking just there. And the other leg. Sometimes one ankle is loose on the other one. Uh-huh. <sighs> Yawning, stretching, shaking, one more thing, swallowing. I know that's one we usually don't think about, but try going without swallowing for a while. It's like going without breathing for a while. <laughs> We never think about it, but it soothes and relaxes the throat, it lubricates the throat. American English has one characteristic very different from most other languages. Increased tonality. There is more vocal cord vibration involved in forming both the vowels and the consonants. So, let's begin by developing strong vibration in our E's, our A's, and our Y's. E. Yes. E. U. E. Yesterday. E. Exercise one, the Y buzz siren. The Y buzz is the sensation of the E sound as a buzz or vibration on the gum ridge. Right here on the gum ridge, right above the front teeth, you feel a little buzz of the E, E there. Concentrate on feeling the vibration of a pure E sound on the roof of the mouth just above the front teeth on the gum ridge. E, 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 E. You should be able to feel vibration in the teeth as well as on the gum ridge. E, 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 E. And let your lips pout forward a little bit. E, E, like that. That helps focus the sound waves right onto the gum ridge. E, very good. Now, siren up in pitch. E, E, siren up and siren down. E, 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 siren down. E, up again. E. When you siren up, you'll feel the vibration move from the gum ridge up to a little bit higher, right? a little bit higher up on the roof of the mouth. As you siren down, you'll feel the vibration moving back down onto the gum ridge, just above the teeth. And you may feel the teeth themselves vibrating a little. E e e e. So do that little pout, e, e, the Y buzz lift position, and siren up, e, e. Now let's do it more gradually, a slow siren up. Then we'll take a breath and siren down, e, e, and go back down into that little lift position, that little pout when you get in the low pitch. Once again, e. You feel that little arc of vibration going back on the roof of the mouth and then coming back down again. It makes a little arc there. Once again, 
Initial position. Hold each of these Y sounds for at least three seconds. Three seconds. Now that's longer than you think it is. E yellow. Repeat those words, hold, or a better word is sustain the Y for one second. E yellow. E U. E yard. E yell. E yield. E yes. E now repeat that list again, sustaining the Y just long enough to feel the vibration. Yellow, U, yard, yell, yield, yes, use. Good. The Y list, final position. Now these are strong, but short in the final position. So the first time through, sustain the Y for one second. Happy, angry, hungry, thirsty, city, ready. Repeat, sustaining the Y just long enough to feel the vibration. Happy, angry, hungry, thirsty, City, ready, short but strong. The Y sentences. First time through, hold the Y for one second. I'm hungry and thirsty and I'm not happy. I'm ready to yield to this city. Yes. I yelled across the yard. I'm angry that you used my yellow car. Repeat, sustaining the Y just long enough to feel the vibration. I'm hungry and thirsty, but I'm not happy. I'm ready to yield to this city. Yes, I yelled across the yard. I'm angry that you used my yellow car. The slower drills get you in the habit of feeling these sounds. The faster drills carry over this feeling into your conversational speech. Sustain the E for at least three seconds, which is longer than you think it is. E, she, we, sweethearts, t-shirt, sleeves, jeans. Reading, Argentina, trees, green, feet, 
sleep, meat, cheese. Repeat, sustaining the E for one second. He, she, we, sweethearts, t-shirt, sleeves, jeans, reading, Argentina, trees, green, feet, sleep, meat, cheese. <sighs> Yawn, take a breath, <sighs> relax, repeat the list again, sustaining the E just long enough to feel the vibration. He, she, we, sweetheart, t-shirt, sleeves, jeans, reading, Argentina, trees, green, feet, sleep, meat, cheese. The E sentences. Sustain the E for three seconds. We, sweethearts, are reading about Argentina. The second time through, the same sentence, sustain the E for one second. We, sweethearts, are reading about Argentina. And now, just long enough to feel the vibration. We, sweethearts, are reading about Argentina. The next sentence. Stage one for three seconds. He wore jeans and a T-shirt with short sleeves. Stage two, sustain the E for one second. He wore jeans and a T-shirt with short sleeves. Stage three, sustain the E just long enough to feel vibration. He wore jeans and a T-shirt with short sleeves. Tonal action both uses and creates energy, but without effort. Let's take a few seconds now to stretch again. Oh. Right. The whole body stretch forward. Stage one, lying under a green tree, eating meat and cheese, his feet fell asleep. Stage two, lying under a green tree, Eating meat and cheese, his feet fell asleep. Stage three. Lying under a green tree, eating meat and cheese, his feet fell asleep. <laughs> plus Y buzz. This is a variation of the Y buzz. It's a diphthong, that is, two sounds blended into one. It's E plus E. A. A. Emphasize the second sound, which is the Y buzz. A. 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 A, 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 A. So 
the A is mostly the E sound. That's right. Now try warming up on this. The A lift. Sustain the A for at least three seconds. They name David bathing suit cake baby plate grapes table gray now sustaining the a for one second they name David bathing suit cake baby plate grapes table gray stage three sustaining the A just long enough to feel the vibration name David bathing suit cake baby plate grapes table gray the a sentences sustain the a for three seconds stage one the baby in the gray bathing suit is named David. Stage two, one second. The baby in the gray bathing suit is named David. Stage three. The baby in the gray bathing suit is named David. Stage one, they laid the table with plates of cake and grapes. Stage two, they laid the table with plates of cake and grapes. Stage three. They laid the table with plates of cake and grapes. The Y buzz and the plus Y are excellent for warming up your voice anytime. They act as anchors for the tonality of all your speech and they protect against strain and throatiness. They also place your voice in a lower register for a deeper, darker, richer, sexier sound. And yes, women sound more sexy with a lower pitched voice, the same as men. <laughs> So long for now. Hi, welcome to the real world. Hello, hi. Welcome to the real world? Well, as... <laughs> My own personal directions to you on another audio cassette. I'll explain it to you. I'll explain it to those dogs, too. <laughs> I'll go explain something to that dog really good. The doc
stretching anywhere but into a coffee cup. Right? <laughs> and yawning. Oh, put a sound with it, a big oh. yawn. Oh. Now, stretching your back, shoulders, and arms forward easily. Oh. Oh. And do a yawn with it. Oh. 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 Notice that every part of the body stretches forward. Everything stretching forward, a wide feeling across your back, between your shoulders, lots of space. And nice, deep, easy breaths. Oh. 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 All the cheek muscles and lip muscles stretching forward. Oh. Oh. Breath of air that comes in when you take a good yawn. Oh. Oh. Feel all these cheek muscles stretching forward. Oh. 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 Wow, 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 Now sound out a sustained low pitched tone on the vowel. Oh. Like the Y buzz, this sound resonates on the hard palate or the roof of the mouth. Now, with a little bigger opening, sound it on oh, 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 oh. Everything is moving forward. Oh. Stretch the facial muscles forward and create a soft rounding of the lips. Oh. Never begin by pulling any of the facial muscles downward. Oh, 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 like that. You want forward action. Oh, oh. The cheeks and the upper lip like the start of a yawn. Oh, 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 oh. Thus we have rounded lips for rounded vowels. Now, thinking of the start of a yawn, make a large lip opening and sound the vowel ah. Gradually reduce the opening until you come to the vowel oo. Oh. 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 You form a number of specific vowels, including ah as in father, 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 father. oh, as in lawn, 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 oh, as in call, 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 oh, as in phone, Phone. 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 Ooh, as in you. 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 And if you move quickly from the widest to the smallest opening, ow, as in brown. 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 You'll come to know each specific stretch position as a physical sense memory, guided by the way it feels rather than the way it sounds. Now, we've assigned a number to each vowel. The largest stretch opening is called number five, Ah. ah, as in father, father, or calm, calm, commonly mispronounced as my father was calm, my father was calm, my father was calm, 
My father was calm. My father was calm. My father was calm. The lip opening is too small. We need to pronounce our number five vowels with much larger openings for a big round ah sound. Father, calm, car. Father. Or calm. Calm. Okay, the number five word list. Using the full forward stretch of the cheek muscles and a very big lip opening. Let's take out our mirrors now. Check in the mirror. Compare your lip opening to mine. Make sure it's big enough. Ah. 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 Very soon you won't need the mirror because you'll know by feeling whether the opening is correct. Oh, I like the start of a yawn. Nice and easy. Ah. the list with all of that stretch that you just had but a little bit faster we'll call this stage two father father arm arm car car bar bar barn barn calm calm palm palm star star yard yard sweetheart sweetheart We'll repeat the list again, more rapidly, with a slight easing up of the gross stretch. We'll call this stage three. Father. Father. Arm. Arm. Car. Car. Bar. Bar. Barn. Barn. Calm. Calm. Palm. Palm. Star. Star. Yard. Yard. Sweetheart. Sweetheart. Very good. <laughs> Number one, ooh, ooh. The full stretch with the smallest lip opening is called number one, ooh. Think only of feeling the smallest lip opening while executing the full stretch. Ooh, ooh. Be careful not to harden your lips. Ooh, ooh. Commonly mispronounced as. Why are you blue? Why are you blue? Why are you blue? Why are you blue? The lip opening is too undefined and the sound weak or distorted in its tonality. Pronounce your number one vowels with perfect roundness and with full forward vibration. Ooh, you blue. You blue. Blue. Good. The number one list. Using the full stretch, check that you've got that two finger space in the back. Ooh, 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 ooh. all the sound coming forward, feeling the vibration around the lips. Ooh. You blue to new to noon excuse shoe spoon Repeat stage two a bit more rapidly, but retaining the stretch. You, you blue, blue 
again, stage three, more rapidly with a slight easing up of the gross stretch. You, you blue, blue, two, you, two, two noon, excuse, shoe, spoon, moon. Number four, aw, oh, aw. Oh. To achieve the number four position and vowel, begin with the number five position and stretch your cheek and lip muscles as far forward as you can. Ah, aw, oh. ah, aw. Oh. The opening will change from an oval shape to one a bit more rectangular. Think only of the maximal forward stretch and the largest possible opening. Long, long, commonly mispronounced as. She had long blonde hair. She had a long blonde hair. She had 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 long blonde hair. Again, these number four aw sounds need a much bigger lip opening. Begin with the number five position and stretch your cheek and lip muscles as far forward as you can. Ah, aw. Ah, oh, ah, oh, long, 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 long. Alex, a little bit bigger opening. Think of the biggest stretch. Ah, ah, ah. Stretch everything stretching forward, right? Ah. Oh. oh, ah, but see, you're closing down. You're making it too small. Keep it just as, you're just stretching the cheek, the cheek and the lip muscles forward, but you're keeping that big opening. Ah, okay. uh, uh, oh. oh, that's it. That's it. It's a big stretch. You'll feel a big stretch there. Ah, uh, uh, oh. oh, you close down a little bit again. Keep it open. Ah, uh, uh, oh. oh, stretching the cheek and the lip muscles, but keeping that opening. Ah, uh, uh, don't, don't pull back. Stretch forward. Ah, uh, oh, oh, that's it. Long, long. Let's get through the exercise again. Ah, uh, oh, oh, that's it. Long, long. that's it. Long, long. Very good. Long, long. No. rapidly but retaining the stretch. Long, long, not, dollar, body, clock, block, sock, rock, box. Repeat again, stage three, more rapidly with a slight easing up of the gross stretch. Long, long, not, dollar, body, clock, block, sock, Rock box. All right, let's do another forward yawn stretch. Oh, 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 everything stretching forward. 
Oh. Oh. Right? Notice that every part of the body stretches forward. Oh. Everything is stretching forward. Three vowel, oh. The midway lip opening produces the vowel sound, oh, as in ball, ball, short. This vowel is very commonly mispronounced as. I kick the ball short. 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 The tendency is to close down on this vowel so it comes out more like O or U uh, instead of a well-defined aw. Hold it open in that middle position with good shape. Look in the mirror and compare it to mine. Aw, ball, short. Number three, aw. Aw. The midway lip opening produces the vowel sound aw, as in ball. 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 Stage two, don't lose the shape. Ball, Ball short, short four, four, 40, morning, morning forehead, laundromat, laundromat, horse, saw, law. Okay, repeat again, stage three. But with this vowel, don't ease up too much. You want to keep that stretch and shape so it holds its form. Ball, Ball short, short, four, 40, 40 morning, Forehead, laundromat, horse, saw, law. Two one. O. Oh. O. Oh. A diphthong. That's two sounds blended into one. O. Oh beginning with the number two position, but continuing into the smallest lip opening, number one. O, 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 it's got two stages in it. O, as in no, don't, go. Commonly mispronounced as? No, don't go. 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 The second stage, the little oo, is missing. First of all, open big enough for a number two position, then follow through with a quick glide into the number one. O, oh, O. Oh. Feel the lips change position. O, oh, O. Oh. No, don't go. O. Oh. As in no, no, don't, don't, go, go, no, don't, go, no, don't, go. Very good. No, don't, go, shoulder, toe, no. Those grow phone comb. The two 
long list. Repeat again. Stage two. No, no don't, go, go shoulder, toe, nose, nose, grow, bone, comb. Stage three. No, no don't, don't, go, go shoulder, toe, nose, nose, grow, bone, comb. Five one. Ow. Ow. Another diphthong, a combination of the largest lip opening, number five, ah, uh, with the smallest, number one. Ooh. Again, using that quick American glide. Ow, 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 Now, brown. Commonly mispronounced as? Now is brown. Now it's brown. Now is brown. Now it's brown. Now it's brown. Now it's brown. People tend to have not a big enough opening for the number five, and they don't follow through into a good number one shape. What's needed here is a bigger number five and a better formed number one, and then a smooth glide from the five 